Hello, good morning everyone. In today's tutorial, we are going to look on to how to multiply or divide fractions together. But let us start with multiplication first. Suppose you have a fraction A divided by B, multiplying another fraction C divided by D. Once you have two or more fractions multiplying each other, the way to multiply them is to multiply all the numerators together separately and multiply all the denominators separately. Then you reduce them to their lowest terms if possible. But it is also advisable that you reduce them to their lowest terms before carrying out your multiplication. And this reduction is irrespective of direction, whether left, right, or diagonally. If A and D have any common factor, you reduce them to their lowest terms. Likewise, if B and C have any common factor, just reduce them to their lowest terms. And if separately they have common factors, reduce them. Otherwise, you can say A times C is the same thing as AC, and B times D is the same thing as BD. Suppose we want to carry out a simplification 4 over 3 multiplied by maybe 6 over 5. We can directly multiply the numerators and denominators separately. Then we reduce the answer to the lowest term. But I told you it is advisable to reduce more work. You reduce them to their lowest terms, irrespective of direction. This and this have no common factor. This and this have no common factor. But 3 and 6 have a common factor, which is 3. So 3 can go into 3 one time, and 3 can go into 6 two times. This is the same thing as saying 4 multiplied by 2 over 5. Because 4 divided by 1 is the same thing as 4. So now that we have 4, 4 is a whole number. If you have a whole number multiplying a fraction, that whole number is just going to multiply the numerator of that fraction. So first I have A multiplied by B over C. This A will have to multiply the numerator, not the denominator. This is going to be AB over D. And you know you can also rationalize this A because any number divided by 1 is still that number at all if it is not equal to 0. So I told you we multiply numerator separately and denominator separately. A times B is AB and 1 times D is the same thing as D. The same thing here. 4 times 2 is 8 and we have 5 because if we rationalize this we say 1 times 5 is the same thing as 5. 8 over 5 is a simplified form of this problem. Let us take another one. We have three fractions multiplying each other. If you like you can multiply all the numerators together denominators together, then look at your final answer. If it is reducible, you reduce it. If it is not, you leave it that way. But I told you, it is always advisable you look onto these fractions. If they have a common factor, you reduce them to their lowest terms. Uh, I can see here, 5 can go into 10. 5 can also go into 15. If you are reducing, you reduce from numerator to denominator. You understand? Do not reduce 5 and 3 or 3 and 2 if they are on the same line, if they are on the same direction. You understand? So, and 2 can also go into 4. So I can reduce this to the lowest time. But let me take this big number. 5 can go into 5 one time and 5 can go into 15 three times. But I can see 3 can go into 3 so I can reduce them as well. Let me use this bigger number instead of 4 because 2 can go into 2 one time and 2 can go into 10 5 times. So what I have left is 4 over 1 which is the same thing as 4 
multiply by 5 over 1 because I have reduced this 3. And again here, I only have 1 over 1. Let me write it for convenience. What we have is just 20. Look at it. 4 times 5 is 20, times 1 is 20. Divide by 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, so 20 divided by 1 is still 20. Let us use our calculator and multiply the numerators and denominators separately. Initially, we have 4 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 15. What we have is 600. Here we have 5 times 3 15, then 15 times 2 is 30. You know, if numbers end with 0, those last zeros can cancel out, and 60 divided by 30 is 20, which is the same thing as this. So if you like, you can multiply the numerators together, denominators separately, then reduce to the lowest term. And what we have is 20 here. So now let us look on to division. Before carrying out division, let me show you something. And I have told you that before. If you have A divided by B, this is the same thing as saying A multiplied by 1 over B. Remember I told you, if you have a whole number, any integer, multiplying a fraction, that integer will have to multiply the numerator, not the denominator. So a times 1 is still a, and we do not have anything here to multiply b with. Uh, otherwise, we can rationalize this. We see 1 times b is the same thing as b. Take note of this. So if we have a over b divided by C over D. You know this is the same thing as saying A over B divided by C over D because this is a division and this is also a division sign. Using this principle, I can write this as A over B multiplied by 1 over this denominator C over D. Just relate them together. We have this divided by this. We have this divided by this. And I decided to say, okay, this is the same thing as this numerator, A. And our numerator here is A over B. Times 1 over the, our denominator, 1 over denominator. But this here is just the reciprocal of C over D. And to get rid of this 1 for loss of indices, if you can recall, this is the same thing as saying D over C. Just remove this 1 and flip over this fraction from C over D to D over C. But our multiplication is still there. So we have A over B multiplied by D uh, over C. You can see that uh, this and this are the same thing. Therefore, whenever you have a fraction dividing another fraction, just change that division to multiplication and flip over the next fraction upside down. So now let us carry out some simplifications. I told you just change this to multiplication. So we have 4 over 5. Multiply by, then you flip this one upside down. You have 3 over 20. I know 4 can go into 20, so let us reduce it before multiplying. 4 here, 1. 4 here, 5. What I have left is 1 times 3, which is the same thing as 3. Divide by 5 times 5 is 20, 25. Let us perform another division. I have two divisions now. When you have two or more divisions, just start from the left to right. You can start from any direction, but for convenience, start from left to right. This is the same thing as 2 over 5. 
change this to multiplication flip this one upside down I have 7 over 3 keep this one constant we are coming to that all these fractions have no common factor so we can multiply directly 2 times 7 is 14 this time this is 15 our division sign we have this change this to multiplication we have 14 over 15 multiply by then we flip this one 3 over 4 this one is reducible because 3 can go into 3 one time and 3 can go into 15 five times 2 can go into 4 two times and 2 can go here seven times what we have is 7 times 1 is the same thing as 7 and here what we have is 5 times 2 which is the same thing as 10 so 7 over 10 is the simplified form of all this So now let us perform multiplication and division together. This is what is giving so many students headache. Remember our board mass bracket, which is absent here. Orders we do not have. Division and multiplication are together. You perform them simultaneously from left to right. Addition and subtractions are also together. Perform them simultaneously from left to right. Any operation that comes first. So we are starting with multiplication because division and multiplication says we should start from left to right. So we do not have any common factor here. So we can directly multiply them together. This time this is eight. This time this is 35. Our division sign 3 over 2. Now we can change this to multiplication and flip this one upside down. This is 8 over 35 multiplied by 2 over 3. So this is equal to, <coughs> um, if you don't know how to multiply 35 by 3 directly, you can start from uh, right to left, 3 times 5 is 15 you write 5 you know you have one left over 3 times 3 is 9 you add this one you have 10 this is our denominator and our numerator is 8 times 2 which is 16 so 16 over 105 is the simplified form of these operations let us far from the last one so you can see we have three operations. As usual, we are going to start from left to right. So we are going to start with this two here. We have two over three multiplied by five over four. Multiply by seven over two divided by five over two. Okay. 2 can go here one time and 2 can go here two times. What we have is 5 over 6. Because 1 times 5 is 5, 3 times 2 is 6. Multiply by 7 over 2, divide by 5 over 2. Now we have two operations left, still from left to right. This time this is 35. This time this is 12. We have our division sign, we have 5 over 2. What we have here is 35 over 12 divided by 5 over 2, which we can change this to multiplication and flip this one. 35 over 12 multiplied by 2 over 5 from here. 5 can go into 5 one time and 5 can go into 35 seven times. 2 can go into 2 one time and 2 can go into 12 six times. This is how to reduce fractions. From the top, we only have 7 multiplied by 1, which is the same thing as 7. To the bottom, we have only 6 multiplied by 1 
and it's the same thing as six. Seven and six do not have any common factor, and hence you stop here. All these fractions finally simplify to seven over six. And this is all I have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.